Unexpectedly, a woman is about to jump off a cliff while holding a baby. The police arrive to stop her. But the woman is already desperate. She places the baby on the ground, makes eye contact with it, and steps back. Ignoring the police's attempts to talk her out of it, the woman still falls off the cliff. To make things worse, the baby on the ground is crawling towards the cliff edge. Two police officers rush forward desperately, trying to prevent the baby from falling. One of the officers dives. And the good news is that he catches something. But the bad news is that what he catches is the baby's sock. At that moment below the cliff, Mary is outside, taking a breath. Suddenly, there's a loud noise. And the woman who fell lands beside her. Before Mary can react, a baby falls from the sky and lands in her arms. At this point, Mary is unaware that this baby is a reincarnation of the god of death. Anyone who comes into contact with him will face a gruesome fate. Mary, confused, holds the baby. The baby falling from the sky is coincidentally caught by Mary. She hands the baby over to the police. After sending away the two police officers, Mary leans against the door, trying to stay calm. Suddenly, there's a loud noise outside. Mary hears the sound and discovers that a huge rock has hit a police car, instantly killing the two officers. Strangely, the baby in the back seat is unharmed and even smiles. This situation is too bizarre. Mary immediately drives to take the child to the police station. Sensing that something is off with this baby, when the car stops at a gas station, Mary gets out to use the restroom. As soon as she closes the car door, the baby inside starts crying. Unable to stand by indifferently, Mary ended up carrying both the baby and the cart into the gas station. The old man in the gas station points her in the direction of the restroom, and says he could help her look after the baby. This baby is the god of death. With an innocent face but hands reaching inappropriate places, Mary leaves the baby and goes into the restroom. After a brief brainstorming, she wipes the blood off her face and sees the old man and the baby getting along together through the door crack. Now is the perfect timing to leave, she sneaks out of the restroom quietly opens the door, and starts the car with the least noise possible. However, the car breaks down. Seriously, there couldn't be a worse moment for such thing to happen. At this moment, Mary hears strange noises from inside the house. Going back, she finds the old man hit by a fallen shelf, bleeding. But the baby on the table is unharmed. In just an hour, Mary has encountered four dead bodies. This baby is ominous. Mary can't afford to delay and immediately drives to the police station. When she enters the station, there's no one around. Mary puts the baby down and is about to leave, coincidentally bumping into the returning police officer. Now, explaining the situation becomes tricky. The police officer repeats Mary's statement. The god of death falls from the sky, caught by Mary. Surprisingly, it's a baby. Mary tells the police about the incidents, but they don't believe her. In the two hours since the god of death's arrival, two police officers have died, and the old man at the gas station was crushed. Mary looks helpless, but the police believe it's all a coincidence. Mary is detained. Outside, the baby keeps crying. The police bring the baby to Mary again. Strangely, the baby laughs when it sees Mary, looking at his little hands. It seems he wants milk. Do you want milk? I don't have any. Mary says while holding the baby in a feeding position. Suddenly, she was startled awake. Luckily, it was just a dream. At this moment, the police come in and inform her that the situation has been clarified. Mary's testimony is valid, and she is free to go. Mary returns home, and when she is about to take out the trash, the doorbell rings. She opens the door, but there's no one there. Looking down, she exclaims, why is this baby back again? Mary is someone who doesn't like babies. Seeing friends with children annoys her. However, now, out of nowhere, she has an extra baby to take care of, and even has to change its diapers. Mary has never done such a thing before, and changing diapers is a messy job. The smell is unbearable. She can't take it anymore and goes to a coffee shop to calm down. The staff notices the baby. And it's the same baby as the one that came a few days ago. A woman brings the god of death to a coffee shop. While eating cookies, the woman chokes on a cookie. The god of death stares at her. And she rings the bell for the waiter's help. After the waiter cleans up and leaves the kitchen, the woman is already dead. The god of death sees it all. Innocently smiling at the waiter, looking harmless. Little does the waiter know that his nightmare is just beginning. Under the control of the god of death, the waiter can't take it anymore and chooses to jump off a cliff. While Mary talks to the staff, the baby drops a ball to the floor. A little dog chases it out onto the road, full of speeding cars. Just as the staff goes out, the dog is hit by a car. The baby looks at Mary. This few-month-old child makes Mary feel a fear she has never experienced. Mary takes the baby home. Not knowing its origin, despite the uncertainty, Mary cooks for the baby. Suddenly, the doorbell rings. 
Mary opens the door and picks up an envelope on the ground. Inside is a USB drive. Plugging it into the computer reveals pictures of different women holding the baby. From the photos, these women are from different eras. But the baby's appearance remains unchanged. It seems this baby is hiding a great secret. Mary considers throwing the child into the wilderness, taking advantage of the night. She arrives at a grove and places the baby on the ground where no one is around. Swiftly turning away, Mary runs a few steps, but the baby starts crying loudly behind her. Each cry feels like a needle piercing Mary's heart. Ultimately, she couldn't bring herself to do it. So she goes back, strangely, even though she left the baby nearby. It's nowhere to be seen. Anxiously, Mary continues searching forward. In these vast bushes, there is no trace of the baby, kneeling on the ground. Mary cries in self-blame. Once again, the baby's cries resound in her ears, following the sound. Mary finally locates the baby and brings it back to the car. Unexpectedly, an old lady appears in the back seat of the car. Mary takes her home, and she learns that the USB drive she received that day was from her. The old lady informs her that the baby can control you with his thoughts. Once he gains complete control, he will destroy you. Many years ago, there was an accident. The baby is the reincarnation of the god of death. He uses his thoughts to control a group of children. As the baby starts crying, these children pick up stones and senselessly attack their parents. The louder the crying, the more forcefully the children act. Regardless of parents' pleas, some women, seconds before wanting to smash their mothers with large stones, find themselves hit by their own stones. All by a mere glance from the baby. The old lady solemnly tells Mary, that soon she will meet an untimely death, and no one will suspect a few months old baby. Initially skeptical, Mary thinks the old lady is just scaring her. However, as she calmly recalls, the woman who initially fell off the cliff, the two later police officers, the old man at the gas station, and the woman in the coffee shop, all connected to the baby, have died. Not even the little dog survived. Mary finds the old lady's words somewhat credible and asks what to do. The old lady suggests calming the baby to sleep first and then taking action. The baby never sleeps. Mary stays awake from night to morning, singing lullabies 100 times. But the baby remains energetic, helpless. Mary seeks her sister's assistance. Her sister loves children and has much knowledge about them. Indeed, as soon as her sister holds the baby, within two minutes, he falls asleep. Returning home, the old lady hands Mary a knife. The best time to kill the baby. Watching the cute baby on the bed, Mary hesitates for a long time. She simply can't bring herself to do it. The old lady seizes the knife, ready to handle it herself. In the struggle, the fruit knife falls to the ground. Both rush to grab it. At that moment, a knock on the door interrupts them. Mary opens the door, and it's her sister. She wants to see the baby again. But Mary refuses and closes the door neatly. The two resume their struggle for the fruit knife. The old lady takes it, but was dragged away by Mary. Mary grabs an ashtray nearby and smashes it towards her. Mary loses her fighting capability. The old lady tells her that all previous mothers of the baby died. None escaped. Mary can only reluctantly agree to let the old lady kill the baby. However, when the two return to the room, the baby is gone. Mary realizes her sister must have taken the baby away. She urges her to quickly return the baby. Her sister is acting quickly and has already taken the baby home. Mary sees the photos her sister took and quickly finds them. Never approach this baby. He is the god of death. Mary's sister takes a bite of a cookie. Instantly choking, the baby watches with a smile. Mary arrives just in time and rushes towards her sister. The baby's smile freezes, and her sister spits out phlegm directly on Mary's face. Finally clearing her throat, Mary realizes that if she had arrived a bit later, her sister might have choked to death like the woman in the coffee shop. Initially wavering, Mary now can't bear the baby's attempt to kill her sister. Mary decides to kill the baby because he is the god of death, driving at night with the baby. She arrives at the edge of a cliff. Since things started on the cliff, she decided to wrap it up right there. Just as Mary is about to jump off the cliff while holding the baby, her sister and the old lady arrive in time. The old lady expresses a desire to bid farewell to the baby. After taking the baby, she plunges down, and both disappear into the sea, watching the baby slowly sinking. The old lady finally feels relieved. In a daze, she sees the baby's previous mother just as she descends, and Mary arrives just in time to rescue her. Gradually, Mary no longer dislikes children, and willingly helps friends take care of their kids. Some time later, the baby unexpectedly crawls back to the beach. No one knows who else will be harmed. The film is titled, The Baby. I recommend everyone to watch it. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. See you next time. Bye.